okay, no fireplace this week, nothing special, and not too long of a video for you, um, because I, I really wrote in the lesson that I want this week to be a whole lot about what your thoughts are, how you relate to what we're talking about this week, okay? So, one more week on, on Nathaniel Hawthorne, but a totally different story. We're talking this week about The Minister's Black Veil, a Nathaniel Hawthorne short story. It is a powerful short story, as most of Hawthorne's things are. Okay. And it's all about a young minister named Parson Hooper who goes a step further in doing what he thinks his goal, his, his purpose is in being a minister. Obviously, his major purpose is to save the souls of his congregation. That's what any man of the cloth, woman of the cloth, is all about, wanting to save our souls, wanting to save the souls of all of those out there, including his own, okay? And as you're reading the story, Parson Hooper goes to what most of us would probably consider a pretty big extreme to do what it is he is trying to do, to save people's souls, to to get into the hearts and minds of his congregation. Okay, In the story, that's a big part of what's going on. Now, do his people get it? You'll have to decide that as you read the story. Do his, do the members of his congregation try not to get it? Um, don't want to get it? That's something you'll have to decide as you read the story. Okay, um, Because Parson Hooper doesn't change, and yet he does change. And you'll see that in the story. And so... In, in his mind, he doesn't change. He's trying to do even better what his job is, okay? And I'm not going to go into the story. I'm not going to try to tell you what the story is about because it's, it's a pretty self-explanatory story, but you do have to read it. It's a pretty potent story. So he wants to get inside the minds, hearts, soul of all of his congregation he wants to do that not only with his congregation. Well, that's where Parson Hooper is. But part of the question with all of this is, does Hawthorne want to do that with each of us who encounter his story? Does he want each of us to search within ourselves um, based on what Parson Hooper does? Okay. This is a piece of fiction, and in my lesson, I explained that, yes, it's a piece of fiction, but really, fiction, to some degree, is, this isn't supposed to be a contrast in terms, but fiction, to some degree, is, is almost always based on reality, okay? Maybe it's always based on some version of reality, even the way out stuff. Um, it becomes a reality, at least for the person who creates the narrator to tell us the story. Okay, so um, in what Hawthorne is writing in The Minister's Black Veil, yes, he is delving into kind of the core of what Puritanism was all about, but to some degree, he's delving into the core of what all of us as human beings are all about. Hawthorne is a heavy-duty guy, as I've said to you before, okay? And, you know, I, I mentioned to you another in another video that Hawthorne um, really almost had to live a, a secluded kind of life as a kid because when his father died, his mother never got over it, and so she pretty much forced seclusion on her two children. Um, and so we get Nathaniel Hawthorne, and his stories, obviously very intense stories, stories that have to do with more than just commonplace worldly things, but stories that really have to do with 
who we are, what we are, okay? But he's putting them, he's putting all of it into the lives of the Puritans, okay? And ironically, Hawthorne's sister became a Catholic nun, you know? So she obviously got a great deal into morality um, and to um, who she was and how she could share her life, live her life for others by becoming a Catholic nun. So um, that's, that's what Hawthorne does. Now, you know, I give you an assignment where I ask you to, to delve into the people that Parson Hooper is affecting directly. I also give you the option to say whether or not Parson Hooper, what Hawthorne writes, what Hawthorne's narrator creates in the person of Parson Hooper, if that affects you as a reader, okay? In other words, are you able to make this fiction a little bit personal? Is is what's written here, are you able to, to bring that into yourself, to make it a part of yourself, okay? Does it affect you in any way? So that's, if you want to, I put that in the assignment. If you want to, you can include that in your essay of, of the kinds of effects that Parson Hooper has. But as I pointed out in the essay, we're not looking for you to tell us things from your personal life. We're not looking for that at all. That's not what this is all about. We're looking to see if, in fact, um, the kinds of ideas that, that Hawthorne or an author like Hawthorne puts forth, can a piece of fiction have a really potent effect on you as a reader? Okay, that's that's part of what we're trying to do. Now, all that being said, this really will be our last shot at the short story. Um, next week, we'll be moving to a different genre. Okay, and, you know, as we're moving forward in the semester, I mean, obviously, we're about two thirds of the way through now. I think this is week ten, and we only have fifteen, so so that's two thirds, you know. But we have uh, other fish to fry going forward. So um, anyway, um, you know, it, it's a good time for you to do some thinking about: Has anything that we've read affected you? Have you been able to, in a sense, take any of it to heart and say? You know, are you finding yourself at all in, in any of the fiction that we've done? Or are the, is this all completely detached? Um, and there's no right or wrong for that. I'm just hoping that because we see the experiences of lots of other characters, it can help us know a little more about ourselves and maybe a little bit more about, about um, how we live and, you know, we, we, we kind of, I mean, our lives are framed by ourselves, but they're also framed by other people, like our parents, for instance, our friends, our, our school associates. Well, are they framed at all by characters that you come across in fiction? So, so that's really, you know, a thought process that I'm trying to move you into a little bit, too, is does this affect you as a person? If it doesn't, that's not a bad thing, you know. It's just this is another effect that fiction can have on us okay so um you folks are, are just amazing you're doing so well i am so pleased with everything that i find week after week you're all really doing a job this could be a week though where when you write comments on each other's essays you know allow yourself allow yourself to really read other people's essays and say what goes through your head as you read their essays. Because, you know, we're talking about things in lots of different directions. We're talking about each of us who, who has all lived different lives. And so what you may find in an essay may be very different from anything you've experienced before. That's okay. Be willing to point that out in your comments too, okay? So have a good week. You know where to get me. And we'll see you all soon.